This is a kinetic style log splitter, so it doesn't have hydraulics to split the wood. Instead, it uses two heavy flywheels to store energy. And then there's also a toothed rack that gets pushed out and uh, a smaller gear to drive that rack. I haven't had these covers off to get a good close look at the mechanics of this thing. So that might be interesting. So it looks like this thing is designed in such a way that when the engine is running, the flywheels are constantly turning. So here is the, uh, that's the output shaft from the engine. And uh, there is a uh, tensioner pulley there, there's a spring there as well. So I guess when I start this thing, those flywheels, they have to come along right away. Like I pull on the pull start and those flywheels will start to move right away. Looks like that's the way this thing is designed. So, and then here's that rack that I was talking about. And under that rack is the drive gear. So right now there's a gap between the drive gear and that rack. So it's not engaged right now. So this is the engagement linkage to make the action happen. So imagine if these two flywheels were rotating and the gear underneath was turning as well, but the rack is not moving because the two are not engaged. So then when the rack, which is here, is pressed down towards that gear, then the gear can engage it and push that rack forward. And has, there's a lot of stored energy in the weight of the flywheels. So I haven't had this thing running, but the way I understand it is that uh, it disengages automatically. So I think the way that works is when this part of the rack, like see that low spot there? I think when that low spot gets to that roller, I think that's when it causes a release and then it returns back to where it was and it's ready for the next cycle. So. Something like that. I think that's how that works. Here in the end of that rack, see here's the, uh, the driver. So it's got a, a bit of a raised design on there and I think that would be helpful for kind of pressing into the wood and so it doesn't you know, uh, easily slip out of there. It grabs onto it at least somewhat. And it looks like I would be able to easily put in a uh, a 22 inch log in there. This white thing here, I think it may be nylon or uh, plastic or something like that. And I think that's a, a slider for uh, going along this beam here. I think this is a return spring. There's one on each side. <laughs> 